Hey everyone, Muriel here. This evening I wanted to come and show you guys these adorable spring Easter baskets or spring totes that I created. The other day I was watching Ginger on my sister Scrapper. We all know who she is. She does great work. She does really fast, very creative very creative and she showed these totes that she made and it was really really easy to follow it's made with a six by six piece of paper and I'll put her tutorial down below I won't um, kind of show this again because she shows it like no other really quick really fast I think the whole video is probably two minutes if three might be three minutes but it was just so easy to make and I had been thinking you know what else can I do with this spring paper I had a few Easter sheets left I still wanted to give some uh, friends at work a, a little something for for spring and Easter I did make the three totes with the um, envelope but I didn't make any more than that because those took a little time consuming but these were easy peasy lemon squeezy so um, I emailed well, I didn't email but I responded on Linda's channel um, that I was going to make a dozen and I did there's four here four four so there's 12 <laughs> and I use the six by six uh, the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad I'll show it to you here I just kind of cut it up in half and in half of that so I was able to make four so this is um, a paper pad I think it's called spring and it's by um, excuse me you know, I, I'd be guessing if I said Echo Park. I'm just not sure because I it is Echo Park paper. Yes, I use the cover sheet to make the handles on these baskets, so it's all cut up, and so I don't have that to show. But of course, it comes with a sticker sheet, and it comes with uh, I think 12 sheets, and you can see it has cut apart as well. So really good. Um, for spring items you know spring uh, projects and then I had a few um, stickers and um, embellishments and cut aparts and ephemera from my Easter that I put on here too so they're kind of Easter they're kind of spring you know we're gonna call them spring totes and I use this on them as well and my flowers that I'm using I kind of went back and forth I wanted to use um, these here by Jolie's I picked these up at Tuesday morning a couple weeks ago and what I did with the white ones I have to show you I took this little yellow center out and I used some seed beads that I had found over at Tuesday morning and this is what I did with the white ones so they all have pink a mixture of seed beads that I put together and I kind of changed them up I mean I love the look but I wanted something different I didn't want that yellow pom-pom ball in the middle so I wanted to use these, but I didn't. I ended up using, which I've had for some time now, these Martha Stewart stickers. And they were, same thing, Tuesday morning, they were 99 cents. And they just really caught my attention when it came to spring. So I use these on here. Plus, I know that these are going to be thrown away in a hot minute, right? So I didn't want to put too much heavy hardware on them so they look like this they are just um, I used a Spellbinders um, nestability die with on some white cardstock uh, Martha Stewart punch for the leaves this is the punch here um, and then Martha Stewart um, sticker here and it came just like that um, I have some high chews and some chocolate in there with some of my favorite shred from Tuesday morning and on the back I just put a uh, ephemera piece and this one happens to say sunshine so again I made a dozen I'll just pick these up real quick and show them to you um, and I'm taking them in tomorrow and the ladies will just ooh and awe ah as they do <laughs> they're just so um, so grateful so you know and they're sweet and I just think these were just so fun to make so here's one I put a Easter sticker on the back and it looks like that I also thought about using my felt flowers but again I just couldn't see those things being thrown away as these will so everything here is if it gets thrown away I'm cool with it yeah hi choose this one says spring hi choose and um, chocolates I know are pretty popular 
And these Martha Stewart, um, that one says Easter. These Martha Stewart um, stickers, um, really pretty. I mean, it's something that we can make. She just used two different punches and a button in the center. But they just, they have that spring um, look about them. So, um, I was quite pleased. I uh, went ahead and put it on and shared it with the uh, G45 Instagram uh, channel because I got a, a like from them and they said do share so I'm going to go on and make sure that um, it's on there so that they can see um, that I challenged myself and I did it and I will put the link down below for um, my sister scrapper many of you already know who she is but um, what a fun project to make so if you guys are still doing Easter baskets and Easter projects. These ephemera pieces are um, wonderful to use. Again, this one was Easter and I had used up all the paper. And then this one is spring, but it still has the uh, look and feel of um, Easter. And then the paper pad, again, is the Echo Park Spring. And this is a sticker sheet I haven't even used yet, but I do have um, another project that I want to try. So I may be putting these stickers to use. So that's all I have for you guys today, and I'm sure I will be back with another video, and I hope you guys stay tuned. Have a good evening. Bye now.